This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Wednesday, July 12th. A lawsuit involving the death of an Indiana toddler on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship back in 2019 is being revived after the case was closed two years ago. The 11th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals has reversed the dismissal of negligence claims against Royal Caribbean. Now, the incident occurred in 2019 aboard Freedom of the Seas when 18-month-old Chloe fell 150 feet from a pool deck window down to the pier, costing her her life. Now, testimony from a former chief security officer suggests that the cruise line was aware of the risk of children falling through open windows. However, Royal Caribbean argues that the security officer should not be trusted since he is a disgruntled former employee who shares the same attorney with the family. Chloe's grandfather, Sam Anello, was previously found responsible for her death and received a three-year probation sentence for negligent homicide in 2021. And our friend Scott over at Disney Cruise Line blog reported that Disney is raising food prices. The line has quietly increased prices for adult dining venues across its fleet. Now, effective immediately, new dining reservations for Apollo and Apollo Steakhouse will incur a $5 increase, while Apollo Brunch remains unchanged at $45. For Remy and Ensante, the price has been raised by $10. The restaurant is now $135. Guests with dining reservations made prior to the price increase will remain unchanged, while new reservations from today forward will be subject to the new pricing. And Royal Caribbean Group is changing the way waste management is handled on at least two of its upcoming ships, Icon of the Seas and luxury ship Silver Nova, with the goal of converting trash to energy. This is how it works. Trash like food scraps, cardboard, and used paper will be converted into syngas, which can be used by the ship as an energy source after it's processed through a system known as microwave-assisted pyrolysis. Royal Caribbean also announced that they are expanding its Green Hubs program, which has successfully diverted 92% of its trash from landfills to recycling plants shoreside. And cruise line stocks were down on Tuesday. Carnival Corporation down 2%, 18.90. Royal Caribbean down 1.8%, 101.28. And Norwegian down a half percent, 22.41. Breaking news and industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. Behind the scenes content and extras are now available at patreon.com slash cruiseradio.